It's kind of came out. Rub up your engine. Once made a video about I did a total cleanup of his catalytic converter, getting rid of the check engine light in the process, using nothing but a gallon of lacquer thinner. So I figured out since I have a 20 year old car laying around, what better machine to experiment on? After all, what I got to lose? Now let's see how this car takes off. Not like I'm expecting any miracle from a 150 horsepower car or anything, right? But this is just the car without a lacquer thinner poured inside yet. So now let's see how it takes off. Now nah, I must admit, that was impressive for a 20 year old 150 horsepower car. Now let's go see if Scotty was right. Five minutes later. Hmm, good God, lacquer thinner. What are they using prepping paint jobs? Let's see if this works actually. <laughs> Any advice you do this on half free tank? So I already went ahead and pumped gas. And now, take the cap off. Take the cap off. And I have one of these adapters laying around. Make this job a lot more easier. Ooh, ooh. And if you're struggling to pour it inside, just find a flathead screwdriver. Sticking in the tank gauge, like so. And should make the work easier. Like the old saying goes, if it can't speak, it's definitely no wiser than humans. Just pour it and keep pouring. Empty, and I believe that's all that there is to it. Cover the lid up. Time for a spin around town. And let me just show you how powerful this stuff is. I messed up my paint job after all those spills that you saw. Shit. It's gotta be powerful now. <laughs> and like they say, this first startup should create a whole lot of smoke. Almost like the car is on fire. And that's the lack of thinner doing his job. Now let's go see how far that's true. <clears throat> the engine is on. And, as far as I'm concerned, there's no sign of that here. Can't always believe everything you read on the internet these days, can you? And there is zero signs of uneven hiders so far. Stop my seatbelt. Hey, let me go see if all this just works. I could definitely tell some difference in the throttle responsiveness. About to get to the highway. And pedal to the meadow. Oh shit, it's raining already. Oh god, the rain's gonna ruin this test for me. It is definitely faster. Feels a lot quicker than stuck. Alrighty, so I believe Scarlet Kima wasn't wrong at the end of the day. Good God. The throttle is freaking responsive right now. So I believe all the injector jets is already cleaned up. And definitely the lacquer thinner is doing its job because you can tell he already made it to the new twin cranies because of the responsiveness. Oh, Alrighty, it's been 30 minutes running around town since I poured this substance. And it is running smooth as butter as you can see. 
bother them being careful not to get a spill on your paint job, I think this product is perfectly safe for your car. Hit that thumbs up button if you like what you've been watching so far and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share this video among lovers and friends and even your exes. And that's it, done.